yours shall be satisfied. Please put your beautiful hands together for Jesus and appreciate him for answer to our prayers. Glorify him. He's worthy of our praise in Jesus' glory of Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you. This is our oppression. Push tonight. Pray until something happens. Something good will happen in your life. Please, you may be seated. Tonight, by the special grace of God, we are looking at Father, contend with forces hindering my breakthrough. Can somebody say that with me? Father, contend with forces hindering my breakthrough. Isaiah 54, 2 to 4. I take my test from there. Isaiah 54, 2 to 4. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them set forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spare not, lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand, on the left hand, and on the left. Somebody say with me, amen. amen. And thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Verse 4. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed. Neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and thou shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. You shall not see shame anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, enlarge the place of your tent, which means something is about to happen. Something is about to erupt. Something is about to comfort. Prepare yourself. Stretch forth thy curtains of thy habitation. Spare not. Enlarge your mentality. Enlarge your capacity to receive. Lengthen thy cause. Strengthen thy stead. For thou shall Anytime you see something in shall is a stronger legal word than will. Ask any lawyer. Thou shall is a word of command. It's a word of decree. It's a word of certainty. Thou shall break forth to the right hand and to the left. Hear me? The remaining three months of this year you'll be breaking forth on every side. God desire for us is to break forth on every side, on every side, not on some side, on every side. Please check your turnover as I speak today. Check your storehouse. Check your wardrobe. Check your bank account. Whatever or wherever it is now shall be the least place you'll ever be. Because God will be causing you to break forth on every side. In other words, every hindering force will give way. Now, regardless of the challenges of life, regardless of hindering forces, God wants you and I to enjoy all-round breakthrough. Remember, the path of the just is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter, even unto a perfect day. Proverbs 4, 18. In life, there are forces that make for motion, and there are forces that hinder motion. Amen. For instance, in your car, look at this. Your throttle enhances motion, three of us. Your brake hinders motion. And all of them are inside the same car. Is it true? So there are forces that enhance motion and there are forces that hinder motion. So also in life, there are forces that enhance breakthrough and there are forces that hinder breakthrough. Remember the law of motion that state that every object will remain at a state of rest until a relevant force is applied. So there are forces that you apply to bring motion. There are forces you are also that can make motion to stop. Many have lacked motion in life because certain forces are acting on them. But hear me today. Every hindering force will give way in Jesus' name. Anytime you see that someone is not making progress, advancement, is not experiencing success breakthrough, Definitely seen or unseen forces may be responsible for such, for instance, forces of retardation 
retrogression, stagnation, misfortune, frustrations may be at work. I pray for you today. Every closed door that needs to be opened, I command them to be open. Every door that needs to be shut for your joy to be full, I command that door to be shut in the name of Jesus. Hear me, gates must be lifted for you even in this land. You say, oh, ye gates be lifted up. And ye everlasting gates be lifted up that the king of glory may come in. He said, who is this king of glory? He said, the Lord, strong and mighty in battle. Peter and the angel went to the gate that led to the city. The gate opened to them at their own accord. After this meeting tonight, gates will begin to open to you at their own accord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 45, 1 to 3. Say, thus saith the Lord to his anointed. He put your name because you are the one God is talking about today. To open one whose right hand I have hold him. To subdue nations before him. Nations will be subdued before you. He said, I will lose the loins of kings. To open before him the two leaf gates. And the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. It doesn't matter how crooked it is right now. It's going to be made straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. Any bar they used to buy your life and level your life and say you will not pass this stage, that bar is going to be broken. From now you are going to move northward in the name of Jesus. Why will you do this? He said, I will give you the treasures of darkness. Hear me, there are treasures that have not been discovered. God will open such to you and I. He hidden riches of sacred places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which called thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. God will prove again that he loves you. I pray one kind of prayer sometimes. Very short, but very powerful. Anytime things are so, somehow, that I don't know what to do, I just tell him, Father, prove again that you love me. Simple. Prayer ended. And you see him doing wonders. God will prove again that he loves you. In the name of Jesus. Now, in that your career, in that your business, in that your finance, in that your health, in your marriage, in your academics, in, in even concerning your fruitfulness, God will show himself strong on your behalf. Yes. We will open to you doors that cannot be shut. Yes. Therefore, every satanic spiritual force, cobwebs, evil networks, forces, Walking you. There are some people, there are some forces walking people. From the father's house, they walk them to the ones in the mother's house. You now follow and walk them again to the one in the husband's house. And then one in the, mother, the wife's place. They just combine together, network, <laughs> to be dealing with the man. But such will give way today. Yeah. Evil patterns from father, mother, anywhere. Even your dwelling place. Some have gone to dwell in houses that they, 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 no matter what you carry to that kind of house, you go back with politician bag. But God is going to reverse the irreversible to them. Every household witchcraft, evil dream, misfortune, disappointment, delays, monitoring spirits, and monitoring mirrors they'll be using to monitor your progress. Today they shall be shattered in the name of Jesus. Oh, I like what my Bible told me. In Isaiah 49, 24 to 26. He says, shall the prayer be taken from the mighty? Shall the lawful captive be delivered? Thus say the Lord. Even the captives of the mighty shall be delivered and the prayer of the terrible shall be taken away. For I will contend with him that contended with you. And I will save your children. And I will feed them that oppress you with their own flesh. And they shall drink their own blood like sweet wine. That you may know that I am the Lord, thy Redeemer, thy Savior, the Holy One of Jacob. Now, God will prove himself in your life. Remember, in Zechariah 3, 1 to 5. We saw the devil resisting the high priest with filthy garment in his right hand, the hand of power, so that he will be helpless. But what happened? He said, remove the filthy garment. And the filthy garment was removed. And the angel stood by so that he cannot put it again. Now hear me. Every, every stone they used to roll to cover your destiny, today the angels of God will roll it away. And they will sit upon it in the name of Jesus. No force will hinder you again. You will begin to make progress in Jesus' name. But you see, there are two kinds of hindering forces. Two. And everywhere you go, they are like that. Two kinds of hindering forces. The first one is self-limiting. 
or self-hindering forces. For instance, if a man is walking, a woman is walking in disobedience, he's the one hindering himself. Because until obedience is complete, God cannot destroy forces that are hindering you. Sin, for instance, is a self-hindering limitation or force. God cannot behold iniquity. The hand of the Lord is not short. Uh, short. His eyes are not blind that he cannot see. His de- ears are not deaf. But he said, your iniquity have hindered you. Isaiah 59, 1 to 2. Pride is a self-limiting force. Anywhere pride is found, God becomes the enemy of that man. God is a permanent enemy of a proud man. Remember, James 4 says, God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. So all these self-limiting forces are going to be dead by you. It is you that will take care of it. Because if they are there, no matter what, as a matter of fact, they even open door for the external ones to come. So we need to deal with them. Negative mentality. If you see a man now that carry who dash monkey banana spirit, you say, oh, God will bless you this year in the name of Jesus. God will prosper you this year. You build your house. <laughs> he said, who dash monkey banana? You can't help that man. He's limiting the hand of God. You can't help him. Because without our faith, what God has provided for us cannot be made perfect. Look at Hebrews 11, 40. God having provided some better thing for us that those things cannot be made perfect without us. So, if you are the one limiting yourself by small, small grass copper, grass, um, grasshopper mentality, nobody can help you. Like those 10 spies. He said, we are like grasshoppers before them. You can't help them. They can't enter the promised land. It's not possible. God ensured they didn't enter the promised land. Those are self-limiting forces. Have you not heard in Proverbs 23 verse 7 that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So, so your thoughts can limit you. I pray that God will give us understanding. That's why, you remember where we started? He said, enlarge the, your, in your place of your dwelling. Enlarge your, enlarge your mentality. Some of us, you need to enlarge your capacity to receive blessing. <laughs> it is your container that determines the size of water you go from, from the river. Are you getting what I'm talking about? If you go with teaspoon, you go with teaspoon size of water. If you can get home with you. But if you go with a tanker, you can feed a tank and get back home. Are you getting what I'm talking about? May something happen on my inside today. In Jesus' glorious name. Number two is external forces. These ones are easier to deal with. I'm telling you the truth. They are easier to deal with. If we pray here right now, no matter the devil, no matter the fall, you will give way. Because power past power. Devil and his demonic agent, who manages wickedness of the wicked, envy of men, they are part of the external forces limiting you. Somebody can just look at you now, he doesn't like your face, he sits on your fire. Are you getting what I'm talking about? But when you pray, because the heart of kings are in the hand of God, just like a river, he can turn into which well, God can turn his heart to favor your cause, even though he doesn't like your face. So, the external forces are easier to deal with. Because the other ones is you that need to deal with it. And sometimes it looks difficult. Now here it is. Isaac dug a well. The Philistines out of envy. Because they envied him. They closed it. He dug again. They closed it. He dug again. They closed it. But a time came. In Genesis 26 verse 22. He dug another well. And they strove not with him. And he called the name of the place Rehoboth. And he said, God has made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land. God is bringing someone here to his or her own Rehoboth. Joseph said, what you meant for evil, God has turned it to good. So it doesn't matter the wickedness of the wicked. It doesn't matter the envy. It was the brothers of Joseph that out of envy sold him into slavery. But God was with him and God gave him favor. So it doesn't matter the wickedness of the wicked. Just get God on your side. And every such force will give way. The good news I have for you is this. Come with me to Isaiah 41. 10 to 13. Fear thou not, 
This is a message to someone. No? That fear in your heart, I command it to be uprooted. Fear of failure, fear of money, fear of the unknown, fear of what tomorrow will look like. I command it to be removed in Jesus' name. That phobia, that thing that's not allowing you to take the step. You're supposed to build your house. You're afraid to take step. You're supposed to write, rewrite an exam. You're afraid to take step. That fear is uprooted right now in the name of Jesus. Because fear even stops some people more than the devil. <laughs> Every fear that be inhibiting your heart, I command it to be rooted out. Fear that not, for I am with thee. Who is with you? Who is with you? If God be for you, who can be against you? Which force can resist you? Say me, God is with me. God is for me. God is around me. <laughs> he said, be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Everywhere you've been experiencing weakness, receive strength in the name of Jesus. Yeah, I will help you. It is the will of God to help you in that issue, in that situation. God will help you. Yeah, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. I don't know what you lost. I don't know the opportunity. I don't know the person. I don't know the thing. But God said, I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Help me do it, Lord. Verse 11. Behold, all that, all that, that we are incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. Can you see now all the resisting forces, even though they are moved by envy to stop you, they are going to be ashamed. They are going to be confounded. They shall be as nothing. Do you know what is nothing? Zero. They shall be as nothing. So their confidence will be shattered. Some are going to do charms for you, do things for you, move around, carry your picture some places to stop you, to move you out of your God and place you. Hear me and hear me well. They will be confounded. They will even fight themselves. They that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and thou shalt find them. Thou shalt not find them. Which means the Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing. I don't know if you can see what God is saying. That the opposition you are seeing now, that the hindering force you are seeing now will become like nothing. If you become nothing, what will stop you? If nothing can stop you, go now reason to see where you can be. They shall be as a thing of naught. Why? He said, For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Can somebody hear God speaking to him or her today? Say with me, God will help me. I will help you. You don't know how that rent will be paid. He said, I will help you. You don't know how the school fees will be paid. He said, I will help you. You don't know where you're going to get the money to write that professional exam. He said, I will help you. You don't know where you're going to answer that issue, that query. He said, I will help you. You don't know the people that have risen against you, that are stronger than you, that are using your courting power, that are threatening you. The God said, I will help you. Maybe you're a widow. They've taken what belongs to your husband. And they're messing you up. Messing the children up. God said, I will help you. What do I do? For God to contend against breakthrough hindering forces. What do I do? Number one, engage the weapon of the blood. And the weapon of testimonies. Please, these are eternal forces. Any force you see in the scripture, they are eternal forces. Even in heaven, blood will be relevant. That's why immediately Jesus, when he said, let me, um, he took the blood to go and cleanse heaven. So, the blood of Jesus is what they used to overcome the devil in heaven. And the devil ran to the earth. So, if you use it to overcome him in heaven, you can use it to overcome him on the earth here. Revelation 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood and by the water of their testimony. And they were not And they love not their lives unto death. Now, the truth is this. The blood of Jesus has potency. And his testimonies also as even as potent as the blood of Jesus. That's why we share testimonies. Never hold your testimony. 
Because your testimony is a testimony for another, it's, it's an anchor for another person to get his own or her own. Immediately, God blesses you with testimony. Share it. Because somebody needs that. Somebody came here, shared a testimony of how he came on a Monday like this, and then prayed for him, and he got a miracle job the same day, the same day, the same day. Another person had it here. I said, ah, that one is like my case. And he came here. Also, God, in two weeks, God granted him that job. And his own was even special because before he could resume, they promoted him to the next level. I've never seen that kind of thing before in my life. I saw it first here in, in this town. I've never. <laughs> that somebody before resuming, they will promote you. To God be the glory. So please engage the blood. Anytime the devil sees the blood, he gives way. Engage your testimonies. Your own testimonies, the testimony of what that you have had, engage it. I see testimonies are decided cases, the cases of precedence. You can rely on them to argue your case before the judge of the whole earth. Number two, call upon God for help. And that's what we're going to do tonight. Call upon God for what? For help. Isaiah 50, 7 to 9. For the Lord God will help me, therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. He's near that justifieth me, who will contend with me. Let us stand together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God will help me. Who is he that shall condemn me? Lo, they shall was, they shall, they, they all shall was old as a garment. The moth shall eat them up. So let me do it, Lord. A case came up in Second Chronicles chapter 14. 11 to 13, about a king called Asa. The Ethiopians came against them. The Ethiopians were like one million. And Asa and God's people, Judah, they were like 300,000. And they came against them. Asa cried to God, it is nothing with you to help, but with them that are many and them that are not many. It is nothing with you to help, but them that have power and them that have no power. He said, help us, O Lord God, for we rest on thee. In thy name we go against this multitude. They were a multitude. But small people, they cry for help. You may look like small before the people harassing you. Cry for help. And what happened? God of heaven ensured that no one prevailed against them. God of heaven ensured that none of your enemies escaped. God of heaven ensured that the Ethiopian fled before them. God of heaven ensured that they were overthrown. All your enemies will be overthrown. They could not recover themselves. For they were destroyed before the Lord and before his host. And they carried away very much spoil. They carried away very much spoil. Last two Sundays here, we had a testimony. As a matter of fact, in the third survey, three testimonies were all about people getting visas, scholarship, you know, <laughs> and all that. Now, that family came all the way from Maba. Severally, They've gone for visa. They rejected them. For several years, they've been going. But they were recommended to come here. And they came around. And by the grace of God, prayer was offered. And they went back. They got their visa expressly. Now they are relocating. The whole family relocating to UK. How many of us had that testimony here? Now hear me and hear me well. If God can do it for somebody that will come from far, you that is here, what will stop you? Nothing will stop you. Therefore, everything hindering your breakthrough, I command them to be stopped. Take any position you want to take. You want to lie down. You want to sneeze down. Make sure you are crying to God. My father, my father, contend with the forces hindering my breakthrough. Are you ready to cry for that help? Are you ready to cry to him today? Pray from the depth of your heart. My father, my father, contend with the forces hindering my breakthrough. Father, every force hindering my promotion in this place, everything hindering my finances, whatever is hindering my joy, Father, hinder them. Father, hinder every force hindering my breakthrough. I am breaking forth to the left. I am breaking forth to the right. Lord, open to me the two leaf gates. The gates shall no longer be shut. 
the gate of the city shall open to me at their own accord. I command the gates of this land to open to me at their own accord. No more resistance. Whatever is resisting my breakthrough in this land, resisting my business, resisting my marriage, Father, destroy them. Naruzie ke kula patale te zuzu, embre te zuzu kapalage ke ruza prandaze e ke kula ba amplande ze ko kapalabori ye geke. My father, my father. Hinder every force hindering my breakthrough. Hinder every force limiting my enlargement. I'm breaking forth to the left, to the right. Spiritually, I am breaking forth to the left, to the right. Financially, I am breaking forth to the left, to the right. Whatever is hindering my ministry, whatever is hindering my marriage, whatever is hindering my children, Lord, I command them to be hindered today. Contend with whatever force is contending with my breakthrough. For you said you will contend with him that contended with me. And you will save my children. And they will drink their own blood like sweet wine. That you may know, that I may know that you are my Lord, my God, my Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. My father, my father. You said you will help me. And I shall not be put to shame. And it is nothing with you to help. But with them that are mighty and them that are not mighty. But with them that are many and them that are not many. Father, help me me and I shall not be put to shame. Lord, I will forget the, the shame of my youth. Father, resist whatever is resisting my upward movement. Resist whatever is resisting my success. Resist whatever is resisting my enlargement. Whatever is resisting the enlargement of this assembly. Whatever is resisting the enlargement of your people. Whatever is resisting my breakthrough in this land. Yes, Lord, I resist them in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Satan, I overcome you and your wicked agent by the blood. Forces of sin, I overcome you by the blood. Yes, forces of disobedience, I overcome you by the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus for mercy and for atonement tonight. Lord, he said they overcame him by the blood and by the word of their testimony. I plead the blood of Jesus against every hindering force, every wickedness of the wicked against me in this land. I plead the blood of Jesus against them. Every force limiting my marital settlement. I plead the blood of Jesus, every force limiting my fruitfulness, every force of miscarriage, siphoning my children. I plead the blood of Jesus against you. Every force of failure, bringing shame, reproach, misfortune. I plead the blood of Jesus against you. Every force of cobwebs hindering me, misfortune hindering me. I plead the blood of Jesus against you. Every altar speaking against my progress. Every form of cultic manipulation in the sun, in the moon, in the stars, in the heavens, on the earth, in junctions, in shrines against me. I plead the blood of Jesus against you. Forces of retardation, forces of retrogression, forces of oppression, forces of marital, spiritual husband and wife. I come against you by the blood. Forces of sickness, siphoning my wealth. I reject you. I plead the blood of Jesus against you. My father, my father, resist, hinder every force, hindering my progress, hindering my advancement, hindering my marriage, hindering my fruitfulness. Yes, I shall not be barren. My God will make room for me in the land and I will be fruitful in this land. In the name of Jesus, every God of Egypt resisting my movement forward. Father, resist them. Every wall of Jericho standing against me. Father, cause them to sing tonight. And now, Zizi Paragoria, Atazaza Braduzo, Korea Gaga, and Krenyagaba. Every siege of the enemy, I command you to be shattered by the blood. In the Zuria Para, and Zetuna Pranagaba, forces of poverty, forces of lack, limiting my progress, limiting my project, limiting my increase. I come against. 
bless you by the blood. Generational poverty, generational sicknesses, I decree in the name of Jesus, you shall not hinder me. You shall not hinder me. You shall not hinder me. In the name of Jesus, and Gazapra no says, I will look unto the east. Where's coming my help? My help coming from the Lord that made heaven and earth. My father, my father, help me and I shall not be ashamed. Help me and I shall not be disgraced. Help me and I shall not be swallowed by the floor. Help me. Hide my head under the calamities of a past. It doesn't matter what is happening and what is not happening. My father, my eyes are on you. My eyes are on you. We have no might against this multitude, but Lord, we cry to you. Our eyes are on you. Marate zina brada zazazazazaza elekete me peria blagata zama prambroko poko tobo abagata brana bata bagata brana gapa ete zina gaga akam blangla lete se akaprana tazazazaza whatever is hindering the delivery of my long-awaited testimony, whatever is hindering my blessing, whatever is hindering my fortune, I hinder them by the blood. I hinder them in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, contend with the forces hindering with my breakthrough. For you said you will contend with them that contend with me. Contend with forces hindering my breakthrough. Contend with forces hindering my family. Contend with forces hindering my fruitfulness. Contend with forces hindering my finances. Contend with forces hindering my marriage. Alalosa in the capo. Alakata zizi kakalato ro. Ezeze ke kuna pranata za. Father, hinder forces hindering my promotion. Whatever forces hindering my promotion. Father, hinder it tonight. Alatosa na kapranda ziza kata. The art and the fullness thereof belongs to you. And that's what the agaga who is it that said it and it come to pass and said you are commanded it. Father, you said you will contend with them that contend with me. Arise and scatter and contend with whatever is contending with my favor, contending with my miracle, contending with my testimony, contending with my breakthrough. Let the year end well for me. Let the year go well for me. My father, my father, arise, contend with every force, hindering my breakthrough, hindering my enlargement. He said, I will break forth to the left. I will break forth to the lie. Right. And you cannot lie. Jesus, see to it in your faithfulness that I break forth to the left, to the right, on every side, to the east, to the west, in the name of Jesus. My enlargement will know no limit. In the name of Jesus. My breakthrough shall know no limit. In the name of Jesus. Father, break forth for me as a man perazer. Break forth for me as a man perazer. In the name of Jesus. Ambrana ziza kaparate ze katara keke kuria. Ezenturia bagaba. Eletezina na kuka prando suria galaba. Are you sure you are praying? Lift your voice. Cry to him from the depth of your heart. My father, my father. Hinder every force hindering my breakthrough. Contend with every force contending with my breakthrough. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, King of kings. Thank you, Lord of Lord. Begin to appreciate him. Begin to exalt him. Begin to thank him for answers to your prayers. Give him the glory and praise. Exalt the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, Abba Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' glorious name. Lift up your two hands to him. Now hear me. Before this month rushes out, your long-awaited desires will rush in. Every hanging blessing, hanging promotion, hanging visa, hanging payment, I command them release right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody's miracle admission in school is released right now in the name of Jesus. My God will contend with whatever is contending with your breakthrough. You shall break forth to the left and to the right. The Almighty God Himself will help you, and you shall not be put to shame. Before the sun is hot, tomorrow help will come for you. Before the sun is hot, tomorrow help will come for you. Before the sun is hot, tomorrow help will come for you. 
that favor you'll be trusting God for, that contract, that payment, that form, amazing testimony, I command it to release to you in the name of Jesus. They will call you, it will be for a testimony. Your bank account will get fat in the name of Jesus Christ. People who have forgotten you will remember you for God. In Jesus' glorious name. Hear me? Your mockers will soon become your workers. Those that have been laughing at you will soon come laughing with you. The same way God made Sarah to laugh, God will make you to laugh. This year, you will laugh last. In Jesus' glorious name. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. To God alone be the glory. Has somebody been blessed tonight? Now, before some of us, before you get to the gate, you are going to say answers to this prayer. Some before you get home, you will hear the answer. Some of us, you are waking tomorrow with the answer in place. And before we come here next Monday, your testimony is already established. To God be the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Please don't forget that when I say we'll be here. Fast prairie.